So I wanted to do a short video to talk about auto join in Lightburn. I had a viewer, Jay, ask a question about joining objects back together. And before I could answer him, he answered his own question. But Jay, I appreciate the topic suggestion. So when you break something apart, uh, sometimes you want to put it back together. And auto join will allow you to do that. So we all know how to break apart a circle. Just select it, arrange, and click break apart. And then you can get four separate pieces. Well, if you wanted to save two of those pieces, you could just select them and then go up to edit and down to auto join selected shapes or alt J and put them back together. And then you've got one half circle. You can do the same thing with, with any object. We'll just break this square apart, break apart, and then we get two pieces. If you do it again, uh, you can break that again. Let's go to arrange, break apart, and then you can break those pieces apart. And again, I'm, I'm using Control z to put it back together. Again, if you want it back together, you just go to Edit and down to Auto Join Selected Shapes. And then you've got a complete square. Well, it gets a little more complicated when you get to different um, objects or characters like this witch here. So let's select her, arrange, and break apart. Well, you get a bunch of little pieces wherever, wherever it wants to break at. But if you wanted half of that witch, for whatever reason, you can select the part you don't want and just pull it out of the way and uh, delete it. And then you can select the rest, go to Edit, Auto Join, and your witch is back together, except... For these, uh, these pieces that are not touching. If they're not touching the, uh, the major outer portion, then you've got to group them together. So if we just try to move it now, then those pieces are missing. So just remember, uh, when you break a more complicated uh, object apart, just remember to group those pieces back in. And remember, you can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel. You can push down and move the entire canvas around. Well, I know that's short, but I hope it was helpful. Uh, I did do a search for it on YouTube, and I didn't find very much. I think just really one video. Uh, and it's from the Lightburn folks, and it has a really complicated uh, project that it uses it for. So I suggest you take a look at it. And I hope this was helpful. So... Uh, if it was, please like and subscribe. It does help the channel grow, and it helps keep me out in the shop playing with Lightburn. And uh, when I learn something new, I share it with you folks. I appreciate you taking time to watch. Just check back often for new videos. Take care, and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.